Hi, I'm Tia and today I'm showing you how to get this gorgeous Rihanna inspired look. So I'm starting with the Kevin Aqua Central Skin Enhancer. I'm using this as a sort of a base, a concealer and a foundation because it's a little bit heavier than just a foundation. Because the product is so thick, I'm just warming it up on my hand and sort of spreading it around a little bit. A little bit of this product goes a very long way. So just starting with a flat concealer brush, I'm going to do my under eyes. And it, I know it looks really silly at the minute, but once you go in with your beauty blender, and then covering any blemishes. Now, just to set the under eye area and highlight the areas of my face that I wish to be a bit more prominent, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Powder. I'm just taking a medium fluffy brush, tapping off the excess. I'm gonna dust this under my eyes, across the bridge of my nose, and just this bit of my forehead, and my cupid's bow. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm taking my double-ended pencil and use the spoolie end to brush my eyebrows up. And then draw in strokes of hair to fill in any sparse bits. And then combing through just to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'm just going in with a brow gel just to set that in place. Really, really lightly. Moving on to eyes, Rihanna really loves a graphic block liner. Now I do this by mapping out the line first and then going over it with either a pen or a gel liner. So first of all, I'm going to take a black powder shadow and a push line brush, just a tight line, my top lashes. got to be super precise here. And then I'm going to wing this out, just mark it out with the powder and then overdraw it with a pen. I'm then going to take an eye-defining pen. Now, this is a liquid pen. It's a double-ended number. I'm going to use the thinner end today, just for precision. And I'm just going to use this to trace over what I've already done with the powder to ensure it stays in place and gets a much more sleek black finish. This isn't the best look to do if you're in a hurry because you really need to take a little bit of time just making sure your line is really perfect. Lashes are a really important part of this look and I'm using Maybelline's The Colossal Go Extreme mascara today. It's got a very fat brush and it really gets all of the lashes coated and separated for that wide-eyed effect. And if you're feeling fancy, you can layer another mascara. This is my Extended Play Giga Black Lash by MAC. And I just really zigzag this in at the roots for a little bit more lift. Now, for a little bit of contour in this look, I'm using the Laura Mercier Baked Bronze in 04. This is a really nice brown color. Um, but it's not sparkly, it's a little bit iridescent, so you don't get that muddy look. And using this angle brush, just the tiniest amount, I'm gonna carve out some cheekbones here. And 
and just make sure you get both sides as even as you can. I'm just going to take this over my jawline. A little bit more definition. Now, to make sure the lipstick really does show its true orange, I'm going to almost erase my lip colour with the foundation to make sure that the orange really does shine through. So I'm going to take this concealer and just... and a little bit of the Beauty Blender. Block out the pink of my lip. Then taking a coral lip liner, this one is Fruit Cocktail by MAC. I'm just gonna draw over my lip line and fill in my lips to make sure the color really stays. Taking a darker orange, I'm going to just accentuate my cupid's bow and the bottom middle bit of my bottom lip. Going back to my lip palette, I'm going to use the bright orange, which is called Morange, just to paint over this foundation base. Now with the lips done, the way to finish off this look is to just highlight the key areas that you want to stand out a little bit more. I'm using really beautiful golden shimmer and a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna do my cheekbones. My nose. Cupid's bow. And just a little bit on my chin and my forehead. And if you're feeling very fancy, you can take a smaller fluffy brush and do your brow bone. And the inner corner of your eye. So this is my perfect Rihanna inspired look. This look can take you all the way from the office to a fabulous night out with your girls with no change necessary. Thank you.